Can I be honest? I only ask you out because you're drop dead gorgeous. But after sitting down, really getting to know you over dinner, I realized I think you might be the most fascinating woman I've ever met. Yeah, I bet you say that to all the girls. In fact, I know you do. And after you get into their pants, you get into their bank accounts, just like you did with Paula Scarlatti. Poor Paula was so heartbroken, she told her mobbed up old man. He and his gangster pals just put a big, fat bounty on your head. And can I be honest? I only went out with you because of them. <laughs> Here's the deal, Don. You need to leave town, change your name, and get some game. Start now. I appreciate you resolving the situation, Miss Shaw. However, perhaps in the future, you might try to complete your assignments without quite so much violence. You see what she did? I'm not a human shield. No, he just got in the way. That's it. I'm not working with a lunatic. I'm out. You know how to find me. <laughs> Can't say we didn't already know Finch. First time we met, Shaw shot me. I realize that Ms. Shaw is an effective asset, but I'm not sure I can work with somebody who refuses to carry a cell phone off the job. People out there trying to kill her, you know. Some of the same people that are trying to kill us. Yes, the machine still seems to be giving them numbers. Whatever else it's up to is almost too troubling to contemplate. When I was a kid, computers made more sense to me than people. You said you wanted to set the machine free. I already did. My name is Root. Please talk to me. Can you hear me? Absolutely. Robin, did you hear anything I just said? Okay. Look, some of the patients have complained about you talking late into the night. And since cell phones are strictly forbidden and you have no roommate, I can only conclude that you're talking to yourself. Is that correct? I don't understand. Try me. I have a direct line to a higher power speaks to me. I see. So, um, you're hearing voices. What are those voices telling you to do? It's just the one voice, really. It wants me to stay here, to work through some issues. And what issues would those be? Methodology. We're discussing how I go about things. You're not alone. All these news reports about uh, government monitoring our digital lives, recording texts, emails, phone calls. Well, it's unsettling. You know, um, it's easy to feel violated, even paranoid. Let me ask you this to you. Do you have feelings that you're being watched? Every now and then, 